Students of the Marshall Combined School had a lesson in the success of excellence as the school hosted its fifth annual Day of Excellence. The occasion which dovetails the National Observance of Nobel Laureate Week is used to introduce the, young, the youngsters to St. Lucia's icons and their stories of achievement. This year, author Don French was selected as the feature speaker. Cornelia Ann Lubin is the principal. It's such a wonderful thing to have Miss Don French here because it fits the national theme for Nobel Laureate Week. And we chose Miss Don French last year as the director of NEMO. And then she shifted. And um, we chose her because she has written so many books and so many of us in Senusha don't know that she's a writer and a prolific writer, an award-winning writer. And so we chose her and the theme for this year is celebrating excellence, um, national initiatives and global perspectives. And she has international awards, she has written international books and so forth. So it's very apt for us to have Ms. Dawn French as our guest speaker today. Don French, who has written several books, served as a director of NEMO for more than 15 years and now a deputy permanent secretary in the office of the prime minister, was deliberate in her address to the students. Drawing parallels to the lives of Honorable Derek Walcott and Sir Arthur Lewis to that of all St. Lucians. They came from single parent families. They were raised by their mothers because their fathers died when they were very young. And many of us in the society can relate to that. Uh, we look at them now and see what they have achieved but do not know what they have done to achieve it. Coming from single parent families, they had to apply their brain power to get scholarships because their mothers could not afford, once they had finished the basic education, to send them to school. Uh, Mrs. Lewis had five sons to deal with. Um, Mrs. Walcott had newborn twins, had twins, her husband died while she was pregnant with, with Derek and Wadi and she had an older daughter. In the times that they were living, money was scarce. Money is still scarce. So you can relate to that in 2015 and this year being 100 years of the birth of Sir Arthur as to what he went through when he was growing up as a young man. So that's the parallels I want to bring for the students so that they can identify with not the men they see today, but the young boys that were growing up. Miss French underscored her own journey as a student who was not necessarily the brightest in the room. I had to go through my own struggles at school um, when, when I was going through as well. I was not I'm more technically inclined than I am academically inclined. And going through a school system that was heavily focused on academics, I struggled until I found my niche in the world. So that's what I want the children to understand. For, you know, as cliche as it, can, as it sounds, they can do it too. The school's principal and the parliamentary representative, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, are eager to have the students find inspiration as they embark on their own paths. With Derek Walcott hailing just down the road, Chaussee Road is so close, it's within our environment. So we really want them to understand just as Derek, Honorable Derek Walcott has done it, we all of us have that same potential to soar. Um, we may not reach his, his level, but we can put our things, things in place ourselves so that we achieve the level of success that we really want for ourselves. Because there's a tendency to stigmatize that area, to stigmatize that area and believe that every, anybody who lives, who lives here is not, is not a real citizen. But the majority of people who live in these areas are hardworking, conscientious, and they want to produce and do well for themselves, for their country, and for their families and their country. So I'm very pleased that, that, that the Marshall School is doing that. Um, I'm very happy that the, those who have helped and sponsored, and I, I'm sure it's going to be very successful. Students who excelled at the 2014 examinations were recognized for their efforts during an awards ceremony. Meantime, Don French is preparing to embark on a second phase of her work on profiling St. Lucia's noted sons and daughters. She has partnered with the Arts Cafe at the Aquarius Crossing to highlight the works of 28 nationals. The top floor and the roof are going to be the Arts Cafe. They are doing a wall of legends, 28 St. Lucians. The murals are being done by John Steele, and I'm doing the book on the profiles of the 28 persons. So we're looking at persons like Emerson Nurse, Joyce Ogis, and um, I've been working with them to make sure that what I am writing is truly representation of, of what their contribution has been to society. When the CTV News returns, St. Lucia's tourism hospitality sector on a high rise.